Hey guys, I saw Bear here, and today I'll be talking about what's new in the update 0.12 for the game Foxhole. This update addresses many of the bugs we've seen over the last couple of World Conquests, and gives us a bunch of new vehicles to toy around with. So the new vehicle both factions will have access to is the Armored Car. This vehicle is primarily intended for urban combat uses, anti-infantry uses, patrols, and vehicle escorts. The vehicle itself comes with two equipment slots, one for fuel and one for ammunition. This vehicle seats two passengers, the driver and the gunner. Unlike the half-track, the gunner in this case can rotate his gun 360 degrees, and the dual infantry guns run off the same ammunition as the storm rifles. Similarly to other armored vehicles, the armored car is weakest in the rear. Now keep in mind, the armored car is not supposed to be a substitute for the half-track. Half-tracks still perform much better off-road than the armored car could ever hope to be. The next new vehicle is actually just a remodeling of an older vehicle. Now, both factions will have distinguished motorcycles, with the Colonials retaining the one we're all familiar with, but the Wardens getting a shiny new one. There's also a new skirmish map both teams to fight over, the Great March. The Great March features rolling hills, farm fields, and multiple approaches into town, built around the idea of combat in open spaces. It also features a very symmetrical layout, and it's a great place to test out the new armored cars, because armored cars will be added to the skirmish mode technology tree. Additionally, garrison houses will also be available to the skirmish tech tree. Some gameplay features and changes revolving around World Conquest focus in on the factions with fewer players. So now, resource yields will be higher when your global team population is lower than that of the enemy. Additionally, respawn times will also be faster to compensate for the lower manpower your team has. This isn't across regions individually, but rather across the entire front. So when your global population is lower than the enemies, that's when you will receive this bonus. Some game balances include Sticky bombs have been permanently removed from the supply drop. Item production structures have been permanently removed from the center regions in Conquest. Field machine gun blueprint printing time has been increased from 30 to 90 minutes. And handsome hideaway just outright no longer exists. Some balances that are specific to the half track include half tracks can now run over fences like tanks and armored cars. Half track off road movement speed has been increased by 15%. Half track reverse speed has been increased by 30%. And half tracks have a little bit of improved cover for gunners. Other changes include Home Islands now feature a monument park where you can see your monuments from all the previous wars. The minimum number of players required for a skirmish to start in the lobby is now displayed at the top of the HUD. And there have been some back end improvements to global population control. There's also a new experimental war API. This first version allows third-party developers to access team-neutral map data for all active World Conquest maps. There's an API documentation on the patch notes, and I'm not going to pretend to understand most of it, to be quite honest. But you can check it out for yourself if you're a third-party developer looking to borrow some of the map information. Now there were a lot, and I mean a lot, of bug fixes with this update. Far too many to list, to be quite honest. But there's definitely a list of over 20. So I highly recommend you check it out if some of these bugs have been affecting you in gameplay. That about does it for this update. Short and sweet. And it saves me the work. If you guys like this video and like the update, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest Foxhole updates. Additionally, there are several announcements I will be making over the next week or so, so please stay tuned for that if you tune into the channel regularly. And as always, good luck, keep your heads down, and stay in your foxhole. Bear out.